Okay, dokey. So you would have seen my pivot panel video now. And so this is to accompany that. And it totally looks completely different in every way. So um, so the, the pivot panel is for technical. And it's very, very emotionless, uh, very straightforward entry, exit, no emotions. And now the sentiment, um, we want to prey on people's emotions. So. Um, what you first of all you'd want to do is check your SSI snapshot. Uh, whereas, well, let, I don't know, let's just use gold because we use it in the documentation. So we know it's a buy, it's minus 1.35. When it goes to zero and above, then it's a sell. Okay, so if that number increases, or so I say decreases away from zero, if it gets to 1.36, 1.37, then it's, it's a stronger buy. So, say so if it gets to minus two, that would be down here. So what we'd want to do, I added the 21 moving day average to this so we can get an idea on the movement. So let's say if you were looking to enter on the pivot panel and everything was lined up for buy, 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 uh, but the only thing is that this here is not really that bullish. It's actually a bearish sign because we want them to come down. We want them to sell in order for it to become a buy, but it looks like it's going up. So what I would do personally, add the 21 MVA, right click, add indicator, and then add the 21 MVA, and wait for that SSI line to cross the 21 day. So from above, down. When it comes down, it tells us that they're selling, and then that will come up. So we've got the 21 day moving average here and the price is above, okay? So that's that's bullish, but we want that to come down and to cross the 21 day there in order to become a buy. Um, let's just go to the US 30. Hopefully it loads. Um, so here we go. So we see it's a sell, it became a sell here. If we track up and they decided to buy there that's when we had our risk on calculation that just very very brief it was one day one morning in the week and then they decided to buy the dip so at that point when they decided it continued to fall another slight little blip there so in this scenario we see that the moving average line is not exactly going down it's kind of going sideways potentially even maybe pointing up if it comes up then they're buying and we don't want them to buy, we want them to sell in order for the price to come up. So um, another idea is to change the time frame. Uh, let's go here. Five minutes would be okay. And then you can get a closer look. So um, yeah, the 21 days is useful because when it crosses that, that's like a bias. Um, maybe we can do some more examples. Uh, SPX, I think it will be a similar thing. Oh, see there, S&P, the Standard Poor 500, it is actually a buy. So, we see it's actually gone green. So they, they started to sell it at that point there. So, um, it's a bit of a mixed picture with the US indices. <laughs> it's completely uh, different. S&P is a buy, the US 30 is a sell. And then we can see France is a sell and the DAX, the German 30 is a sell and the UK is a sell. So the only thing that's actually a buy is S&P, as we can see here. Now, if you put a 21 day average on, when it crosses the line and they're selling and it crosses that 21 day, that's your buy signal. And it's so it went up. OK, so. Let's do another example. We see it across the from above to below, and that's your buy signal. Okay, so um, that's interesting. If they continue to sell, then that line's going to point down the 21 day, and then that SSI line will carry them pointing down too. Um, if it comes up, then that's like obviously going to be a bearish uh, scenario. Um, just do quickly do gold. Hopefully you guys are okay with this. I, I've used it so much. Um, I, I think it's like a common sense, but if you're not used to looking at this, then it, it won't be. Um, see how 
that line there on the gold it looks like we're almost doing a rounding effect look how and see when it comes when it does this it sort of tells me that well they're, they're obviously they're, they're they're buying so it's then therefore will come to sell but I was wondering up here there must be some stops up there so we want to keep an eye on our stop loss clusters for sure and uh, if it does trigger the stop loss cluster we'll see a direct effect an impact on the SSI so let's change the time frame get used to this app it is absolutely amazing considering it's free it's it's so good so here we go and that's when it became a buy we have to change that wow so yeah at that point something around about the 3rd of March uh, yeah that's a h1 yeah okay so yeah so it really did come leaps and bounds at that point where it crossed so when that became a buy you would have gone long with a you know type stop um, stop loss low risk and then a big reward but whether or not you would have held on that's down to your temperament and also by checking the sentiment see it looked like it was going to become uh, negate that uh, bias there but it didn't quite cross and it does require you to look at this a lot as well so that's one thing it really came close to crossing but it was uh, they sold it again see it's very tempting to sell it when there's um, when stocks are rallying but we have to remember that gold and the stocks aren't correlating and especially UJ and some of the um, yen pairs and the Swiss francs so everything is a little bit um, uncorrelated at the moment so um, it's easy to think oh it's going to be a sell here look the Dow's gone up a thousand points but they're not correlating so you know that's just one thing try and keep it simple and just look at the sentiment and then look at your pivots um, so just gone through some examples how to use it these lines are the average long prices you wouldn't have that on your chart I just use it for like a bias um, but definitely get the SSI snapshots and definitely get the SSI indicator um, so yeah get the sentiment to marry up with the technical and then you're all good um, and then enter at the M5, M30, M15 but perhaps don't do any more above that if you want to use the supports yeah that covers up the sentiment and the technicals um, hopefully it's clear and uh, so yeah good week um, be fine